Hey, it's Horner, and this is what students see when they go in and do a Delta Math assignment within Canvas. So the student's already done the geometry example. They got 4.98 points out of 6, and they are ready to do the next one, which is Intro to Algebra. The student will just go in, click on Intro to Algebra, and then because you have set it up so that they go into a new window, uh, they're going to just click on the link and it will take them right into Delta Math itself. They'll see all four of the questions that they need to do and they see who assigned it. And so they'll go in and do the first question. If you have videos for them, then they'll be able to watch the help video that is created by uh, Delta Math. And they simply just go in and start Here's the video. Solve for X. So we have 70 is equal And the student can go through and watch that. Uh, to hide the video, it's just super easy. They just go in and uh, click it. If they want to see the solution, uh, they can press that, but they cannot see it until they are done with this question. Then there are examples. So you can say show example, and they can kind of see what to do in order to solve a similar type of problem. There's also more examples here, so they can click on next example and keep going until they find an example that matches a little closer to what they're trying to do. Their name is at the top of this. It'll tell what the assignment is, and then it'll give the time and the date uh, that they're doing it. So students go in, and let's say that they're trying to do this problem, and they go ahead and it says A is equal to, we're just going to call this one 13. And we're going to say submit answer. And it says, are you sure you want to submit this? And we say yes. And it says, we're not correct. Try to find your mistake. You have one attempt remaining. Remember, you can set the number of attempts for students. So let's say that this student decides uh, they're going to actually work it out this time instead of guessing. So let's work it out. And so I've worked it out. And I found out that the answer is negative. 10. Now, if students, uh, for some reason, their keyboard isn't working, they can always go in and they can select the keyboard here and enter their answer. So I can go back um, and I can put in negative 10. Notice that the negative, you're just going to use the minus sign here, and then they can enter if they want. Um, or they can just use the keyboard on their Chromebook. Then they're going to say submit answer, and yes, that's what I want, and it was correct shows them the solution if you've chosen that and then it shows them what their first attempt was as well as what their solution is so we're going to go ahead and go on to the next one and we'll do it and this one is one and so we'll make sure it's right and we're going to go to the next one this one is 55 so we've got that one right and uh, then we're going to go ahead and go to the next one and this is the last one and the answer here is negative 44, and that is correct. So we are done. Notice they can't go on to any next section. They can go back and take a look at their work again. Then we can go back, and they see that they got 100% on this one. And that's all that they will see. Um, so now they can exit out of the program. We can go back into, and this is what they'll see here. If they click on assignments again uh, and try to go back into it, um, it will go back into that same assignment again and will show them that they're already done. We've set it so that 15 minutes after the student is done, it will put a score into Canvas. And then when Canvas syncs with PowerSchool, it will actually go ahead and put that into PowerSchool. So that is what the student will see.